I'm Dr. Hannah from the Pain Service, and uh, we had a lot of epidurals coming out recently because of wrong taping. So I'm here to tell you the best way to tape an epidural catheter on the patient back. And by the way, the Sorbeview by itself does not work. This is how most of the epidurals comes out before time. So please do not use Sorbeview by itself on the patient. And I'm going to go through the process one by one to show you how you tape the epidural. So this is the epidural in the patient's back. I wanted to tape it at 12. So this is, after you thread the catheter, you try to make a loop. Now, the wrong part, when you put a sorbeview, view, I'm gonna show you in a minute, because the sorbeview view in the middle is not sticky. So this is how most people do. Sorbe view and look at the bubbles under the sorbe view. Even if you place it tight, it's still going to be some air bubbles. This is wrong. We don't want to do this. One of the right ways, so number one is to place a tegaderm exactly where you want to put it. Make a window for APS to see. Get rid of all the bubbles. And what I do, I put two tegaderms, not just one, to make sure that it's going to be sticky. Get all the air bubbles out. And then at the end, I put the piece of tegaderm, the sorbet view, on top as a window if I want to, or just a straight paper, paper. So a second way, this sort of view, that is small sort of view, you get this white piece out of it, two of them, and this is how you do it. You will still want to tape it at 12. I put in one here, and then I put the catheter on top like this. And I put the other piece on top. So two catheters sandwiching the catheter. The um, two, 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 pe two white pieces sandwiched in the catheter, but you see, you still see the insertion part. So the insertion part to the skin has to be always visible for, so APS can see it. You spray with benzoin, and then you put another tegaderm on top. A third way is after you spray benzoin, you put a lot of steady strips basically without hiding where the catheter is touching the skin. Again, for APS to know where the catheter is. And this is how he puts all kind of steady strips. As long as I can see the catheter insertion to the skin, this is the best way to uh, secure a catheter without losing um, the the view of the of the catheter insertion. And then you put on top a tegaderm. Okay, I hope this is this uh, methods will help. Obviously there is other ways to tape the catheter, but the key do not use the sort of view by itself. So use either steady strips, tegaderm, white pieces of the sort of view, but do not use sort of view by itself. Thank you.